We are shaped by our thoughts. We become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. Hey kids, how are you all? I hope you are taking great care of yourself. Today in this video, I will be talking about shapes and how to make 3D shapes which will be helpful for making project. The object around us comes in various shapes and sizes. We can see shapes like square, rectangle, triangle in a sheet of paper. These shapes are known as 2D shapes. But if we see a house, it has a length, breadth and height. These are known as 3D shapes. So today I will be teaching you how to make 3D shapes with the help of nets. The materials required to make these nets are a pair of scissors, sketch pen, glue, pencil, ruler and colorful sheets of paper. Now I will show you how to make a cube. A cube has six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We all know that a square has equal sides. Yes? First I drew a straight line. Now I will cut it in this shape. After cutting, you will see that it will look like this. Four in a straight line. One, two, three, four. And three in this straight line. Like now you can see that I have cut the net. But we cannot stick it like this. Because it doesn't have any connector. Now I will show you how to make the connectors. So let me label these boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will draw a line 0.5 cm. You can choose. It hardly matters. So on the first, on the second, on the fourth and on the fifth. Yes. So we will make these connectors. We will draw lines straight like these. And then we will join. Now you can see that I have made the connectors. And even I have drawn the slanted lines. Now when I will cut. I will cut along these connectors. And the border of the cube. Now I will show you how to cut and how will it look like after cutting. Now you can see I have cut this with the connectors. You have to cut along the lines. Now you have to fold each of these. Why do we fold it? So that when we move this and when we are forming the cube, it sticks properly. These connectors, we will be applying glue like this. I have applied the glue and now I will just press little bit and stick it along these connectors. These connectors will go inside like you see the sweet box. Now you can see that these cubes are done. Similarly, I have made the net for a prism. I have drawn one big triangle and then marked another. So, in total we have one, two, three, four triangle. And if you see like this, it looks like one triangle. Yes, so you can draw three triangles together and one like this. Over here, the connectors are here, at the top, here and here. So now, when we fold, it gets st stuck like this. And we get a prism. Yes, or the roof of a house. Now over here you can see that I have made the net for a cylinder. And you can see 
that I made a rectangle with two equal size circles and these are connectors. So when I will roll it, these connectors will help me to stick faster. Now you can see that I have stuck with the help of glue. Now you can see that the both the sides of cylinder is stuck but this is left. So I will apply glue over here and stick along. Our cylinder is ready. Let's see what we can make out of these. Out of making a windmill. For that I need one straw which I have cut into four pieces. A circle, paper for making blades and a paper for making the top of my windmill and I need four. So I will fold it into half and make four. After cutting it into four pieces, I will roll it on the pipe and make the fan. So this becomes my fan. I rolled and I stuck with the help of glue and I made the fans of my windmill. Now I will attach to my cylinder. Now while placing the fans I saw that my straw is quite big. So according to the size of the cylinder, I will chop and make it smaller. And now, now you can see that I have stuck my fans, but it is not looking good. So you remember, I told you that I re we required a circle. So this, I will stick it here. Now my windmill is ready. But it is looking incomplete. So making the cone, we require a used sheet of paper and we will make a circle. Now let's cut it. You can see that I have cut the paper in circle shape. Just fold it, make a crease and cut into half. Now you can see that I have cut the circle into two halves. Now I will pick one half and I will roll it and form a birthday cap. Yes, our cone is ready. Now we will stick. Now you can see that I have made the cone which I will stick on my windmill like this. I stuck a sheet like this from inside and now I will stick onto the windmill. Yippee! My windmill is complete. Isn't it looking nice? What should I make with this cuboid? So I prepared this net and I placed the roof like this. Isn't it looking like a house? Now I can draw a door and a window. And my house looks complete. Oh, with this cuboid, I can make a bus. Children, I converted my cuboid into a bus. Wheels of the bus goes round and round, round and round, round and round. You can use your imagination to convert this cuboid into anything. You can use these as Pyramids, great pyramids of Egypt. Children, I hope now you know how to use nets for various projects. You can use various nets in your projects and use your imaginations in making them. I am sharing pictures of nets so that you can make your own nets and make 3D objects. 
I hope you like this video and will surely apply these in your projects. Thank you.